Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Virgo, this is your weekly May 17th through May 23rd tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Six of Swords, the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I think the Hermit is you in this spread. This is uh, your personal card. I hope you know that. And uh, you are either traveling for work this week or you're waiting to travel for work. Um, you could be uh, making some kind of uh, changes in your life. You could be starting a new job, you could be starting a new um, <clears throat> business adventure, or you are about to do something among those lines, and you've uh, either, if you've already done it, you're waiting for something to uh, come into light or come into fruition, or you're waiting to do it. Basically, um, the Six of Swords on the left is all about moving or about making changes, uh, leaving something behind, something that didn't serve you anymore, right? And the uh, Seven of Pentacles, the card on the right, is all about waiting, right? So as I was saying, you've either made some kind of adjustments in your life or about to make some... you're about to make a shift <laughs> in your life and you'll be waiting for the um, aftermath, so to speak. Virgo, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the King of Swords, the Emperor, the Ten of Swords clarified by the Knight of Wands, and the Lovers. Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, or pretty much any fire sign such as Leo or Sagittarius. I'm getting a very, very serious uh, vibe out of the spread. We've got the King of Swords. This is either an air sign you're dealing with. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, what's interesting is that we have a card for Gemini here twice, the King of Swords and the Lovers, but it could be any air signs. We, um, we also have the Emperor, right? This is either an Aries or somebody is uh, taking control of the situation and I think something is going to get under control this week for sure because we've got the Ten of Swords clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands I'm feeling is uh, the uh, in and out energy so perhaps if this relationship was very unstable if somebody was in and out of your life I think that is finally coming to an end and stability and control will finally uh, take over in this relationship. Um, the lovers is actually the outcome here. Somebody could be making a choice this week and uh, the choice will most likely be either <laughs> get out of my life or let's get serious, let's get this uh, relationship uh, stabilized. And I, like I said, the choice will most likely be made in the uh, stabilization favor. Um, yeah something uh, is definitely going to be decided it will be like a final decision made this week because both the king of swords and the emperor are very very serious cards um, it's like either now or never or let's finally settle this for for good but like I said I think the outcome is going to be uh, positive um, something that was um, uncertain is coming to an end and finally um, this relationship will get very stable. Virgo, if you're in the quest for new love, this part is for you. We've got the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords and the Sun. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. I think you are dealing with a fire sign. Uh, that's what the uh, King of Wands here represents. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. 
um, and I think this person is really stressed out about uh, letting you know how they feel. So the good news, I guess, is that you already know this person. You've uh, crossed paths in the past, and uh, this person, even though he or she is very uh, fiery, very passionate, they are still kind of anxious. They are not sure how to approach you, I guess. But uh, another good news is that we've got the Sun card on the right. This is the happiest card in the deck. So I think eventually this person will come through. And they will let you know how they feel. And um, I have a feeling that you um, are also, you know, you also feel certain feelings towards this person, right? So the Sun card here suggests that uh, the two of you will be... Uh, joining forces <laughs> and it'll make you really really happy um, so yeah this is like a fairy tale right somebody is uh, in love but they're afraid to let the other person know and when they finally do let them know it turns out that the other person also loves them um, yeah looks uh, really good and uh, congratulations Virgo Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, this week. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and Judgment. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So yeah, the Knight of Wands is either a Fire Sign or this person is very fiery, very passionate. Uh, they're easy, get up and go. And uh, they are going to be coming back around this week and they bring their Ace of Pentacles with them. This is a golden opportunity. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles in my mind is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces but the Ace of Pentacles is sort of universal. It could be about love, finances, abundance, um, you know, bundled <laughs> together. We have the Three of Pentacles here as well. This is a card of um, partnership. This is a card of uh, equal opportunities, I guess. And we also have Judgment, and this card is uh, exactly about uh, reconciliations. Somebody is coming back around and they really want to uh, build this relationship with you again. One word of uh, wisdom, one um, piece of advice for you is the Knight of Wands sometimes represents someone who is in and out of your life, someone who is very unstable or unsure. Um, but all other cards suggest that they could be uh, changing their ways, if that's the way they used to be, and they're very serious about this um, reconciliation with you this time around. Um, it'll be up to you whether you want to uh, reboot this relationship or not, but like I said, they've got a serious golden opportunity offer for you. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Virgo, this week. We've got Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So I think the surprise of this week is uh, you should hear from someone from the past, an ex. It doesn't have to be the most recent ex, it could be um, anybody. They do have a very emotional, very uh, genuine love offer for you. Um, the Ten of Pentacles suggests that they are very serious about this offer as well. It's not only emotional. They do see a future with you. Um, they want to build this uh, relationship from the ground up. And the Three of Wands suggest that uh, they really do look forward to uh, spending the rest of their life together with you. Um, so this looks very uh, promising, very solid, uh, very abundant also. So uh, it could be the same person as in, as in the X spread we were just uh, looking at a few seconds ago. But it could be a different person altogether. Either way, I think this particular person is very serious. They want you back. They want to um, hit, the, hit the ground running with you and uh, build this uh, relationship from the ground up. And that they do see a potential in the future with you. So the question is, do you, Virgo, feel the same way? And this will surprise you this week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. 
Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.